And tonight, a man is sitting in jail charged in the shooting at the Northside Medical Midtown facility. It killed one woman and injured four others. And city leaders now talking about the changes that they want to see to prevent another tragedy like this. Karis Belger explains where they want to focus those efforts. I spoke with Atlanta City Council member Amir Faroqi. The shooting took place in his district. He says locally he wants to do more, but he believes real change will have to come from the top. In the hours that followed the shooting at Northside Medical Center in Midtown, Atlanta City Council member Amir Faroqi, like many, waited for details. The incident happened in my doctor's office, the same waiting room I often sit in. Tonight, 24-year-old Dion Patterson is in custody, charged with shooting five women there. Faroqi says his constituents are not only fearful following the violence, they're fed up. This is no way to live uh, and no, no type of environment in which to raise kids. And we, we have to do something in this country to reduce gun violence. But the District 2 councilman says he feels his options for solutions may be limited. The local level, it's a little tougher. We can do gun buyback programs and do uh, de-escalation training for, for conflict resolution. But uh, ultimately, we need state and federal action to bring stronger common sense gun reform. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens shares the same sentiment. We need to look at this uh, broadly uh, from a national and state per, uh, perspective to see how we can get guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have guns. Mayor Dickens says he's reached out to the victims of the shooting and their families. Council Member Faroqui says he plans to do the same. In Atlanta, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.